Natasha has a day off, so we're getting ready to go out on another adventure. Kids are making lunches. Hoi! Hi. Ah, my fingers! Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, washing my face. Is it clean yet? Getting there. Getting Great. ready. Cleaning my face. Brushing my teeth. And I'm dressed. He was the first spy in the Revolutionary War. I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. He taught at this schoolhouse over here. Let's go see it. And so he would pretend that he was going to New York to teach school. And so New York was taken over by the British at this point. So they wanted to have somebody in New York with, who would know what the British were planning next. So Nathan Hale said, I'll go. So he did. They took him over in a boat from Connecticut over to Long Island. So the next day, Nathan Hale is heading off walking. And Nathan Hale, he's 21 years old, and he's not terribly smart about So as he's walking along the roads, he's asking farmers, so have you seen any British soldiers? How many did you see? Where were they heading? Oh, man. And of course the farmers are rather suspicious at this point. Why does this guy ask all these questions? And meanwhile, tra trailing behind him, that the farmers are now telling everything that they just told to Nathan Hale, is this guy from the British ship who is an American, so he speaks like an American, you know, no reason to think he has loyalties to the British. So he catches up to Nathan Hale at the first night. And they evidently make good friends. Uh, Nathan is 21, he wants a drinking buddy, you know. So he sits there and he starts having a good time with this guy around the fire. And the guy says, so what, what are you doing? Why are you here? And instead of saying, I'm going to be a schoolmaster in New York, and tells him that he's a spy, <laughs> okay? So the rule is, though, you can't hang someone for being a spy unless you have proof. Mm -hmm. So he needed proof that Nathan Hale was really spying. So he says to Nathan Hale, you know, by the time you get to New York, you're going to forget everything that you, you've been collecting all this information. So why don't you write it down? You need to write it down. So Nathan Hale meets him the next night, and the guy goes, did you write it down? And he's like, yeah, and pulls the papers out of his shoe. 
and he was immediately arrested. So they, uh, at dawn, they take Nathan Hale out to the outskirts of New York City, and they hang him. And they don't even have a trial because they've got the evidence. So there's no need for a trial. Um, and so they hang him that morning. Now, that's where they say that Nathan Hale stood there and said, I regret that I have but one life to give for my country. They have since found British officers' journals that say he didn't say that at all. <laughs> so when they do, the journals do say that he made a very sweet speech about um, the cause and about being willing to die for the cause and that one should get you a know, freedom of the country was important and blah, 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 blah. But he didn't actually say those words. What they have discovered later is, since that came out, is they went back through and what had happened was a journalist had gone to his best friend from Yale who by this time was an officer in the army, and said, told him what had happened. And so then the, that friend said, this is what he would have said. Interesting fact, the words that I read from that sign were actually not said by Nathan Hale. His friend from college said that's what he would have said. The more you know.